people who have lived there for more than three decades and have called the Mambu Eruma settlement home now have nowhere to go. The eviction has caused more damage. School children can hardly go to school without proper water and house to live in. A youth representative, Brian Lugu, says the reason for eviction was that criminal activities have increased in that part of NCD, but questioned if this was the best solution when the government is not providing opportunities for youths who have left school. Help! Lo reducing crime rates too! Tegima, youth metropolis, they have the power to change the place, change the country for better, for the West. So me, make him happy, please, come back and all, all, uh, all delegates, all line you me come, we see, the, we see the you me, Lord, I'm crying, Lord, me blah. Thank you, I'm happy, come to you me. Change of government is just around the corner. Government is not strategizing, way slow. You see more, you slow me blah. Unemployed youth, sir. And then they call us the problem. A mother, Shelley Harvey, says they are being treated like refugees in their own land and called on the government and those responsible as to where they will be relocated. People have no sense. There's no proper canvas or house law change. People have no toilet. People have no proper water. Me plan no got proper security. Me plan stop want and fear. Plan to pick me plan me plan no go school because there is like I no heavy. Since the eviction, they have been left there without any support from the government, but only churches and non-government organizations such as the NCD Grassroots Network Foundation have assisted with cash and kind. Esther Bralinwani, NBC National News, Podmosby.